Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 16 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create the sheets. We printed the PDF for the, uh, I showed you guys how to uh, create a full set of the PDF. And now uh, we're ready to go to twin motion. So here, I'm just going to go to hidden line. You want to make sure that you're on fine so that everything is showing. And then here, um, click on save. And then here, we could click on twin motion uh, plug in and then select C in twin motion. It will load and we just need to wait before it's synchronized. So once you have it, uh, let's see where the model is. So sometimes it happens that the model is not appearing. So you just need to close it off and then click C in twin motion again. So wait for it to synchronize again. And then uh, uh, hopefully everything will appear. So here you just need to click on new project, press OK. It will synchronize again and it looks like it's uh, generating the project that we have which is here you want to change the speed so for from number four is the speed that I have and W A S D is the way that we're going to maneuver um, this so right now, what I usually do is I want to save my twin motion. So make sure to save it first. Save as and go to the folder that you want to save it. And then I'm just going to put this one, name it B E M N N house, and then click save. So once it's save, uh, I go to burger menu, and you want to make sure that you're signed in to Epic Games, because we're for sure going to use. Um, one of the features here uh, we could use quick sum magnet scan and quick f uh, sketch fab if we wanted to um, before we do that now let's go to our settings I I always want to use my camera and turn off parallelism and then go to color gradient none and then choose bl uh, blue tint so that's the first thing that I usually do as well um, in terms of the background we could go to location click on background and choose none and then here at lighting I always turn off sky dome and then here we could go to environments and choose the sky let's go to low sun cloudy and then I like number six so let's go here and then drop down number six let's wait for it to change and then here we could change the orientation if we wanted to and then let's put it at the back for now and then we'll do going to deal that with later so after this
we could deal with that um, what we could do is vegetation scatter um, or let's add in the materials for the glass so here I'm gonna put on two-sided glass I'm gonna put the opacity up and change the color to a darker glass so once we're once we did that I'm gonna click on material picker and I'm gonna select that and make it darker press OK and then here I want to add a wood material so let's go to Quixel, uh, Quixel Mega Scan and I want to add a plank material so here I want the wood plank and scale it up a little bit So that's good with that. I'm gonna use this worn basketball court to have this kind of texture right here. In terms of on this side, I would choose this wooden plank facade, but I would like to stick it with vertical. or this will be a material that we're going to use which is a stone material and I could add this one onto this side and scale it up and in terms of right here we could use grow, uh, granite and choose reflection and darken it a little bit so in this one we could change it a little bit if we want to um, maybe there is a better materials in quicksell megascan so i'm gonna look for something different marble tile and maybe one of this right here also we have stone right here and then maybe wall or I want those granite facade I'm gonna choose this we could choose the steel gray as well and we're just gonna leave it like that in terms of this one let's choose pick this one and then set up the reflection to be up and change it to a dark gray and you want to make sure that metalness is on uh, uh. and then let's try this one I want a darker one as well or maybe light so there's a contrast and then for the boundary wall I'm gonna choose somewhere right here
maybe I'll choose this one this one looks nicer just for that one and then let's choose this so that everything is looking proper and then neon light for the inside here so under material neon and we need to select the one that is inside so that it shows that we have lights there that looks much better knowing that it's all around here and the money shot will be right here showing that this is all connected and then obviously we need to turn it around so for the location or the sky dome let's choose something like this I want to see how it looks and how it reflects to our model um, I need to we need to add something right here so I have a user library that I added a gate before so we might use that one as well so I'm just looking for it and this one is the one that I'm referring to uh, hopefully I still have something that can uh, can check where I found it and I'll probably provide a link so go to your scene graph go to here you just need to select the ones that are selected right here in order for us to change the sizing and then now we need to pull it backwards so that it fits like that and then we're gonna use this the same thing so let's change there and then hold on shift so that we could add it on this one at the same time on this side again we need to select this one again make it bigger just enough and then this one make it smaller so instead of us creating that in Revit it will take time now it's been created and we just need to know where to find it so that l is looking much better now and then we need to add grass so what I usually do is use vegetation paint and we could do a vegetation scatter as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use long grass so maybe this one is good enough select that and then just keep
keep on adding it and then it will be added on that grass right there I know some of them is over the space but that's fine we could fix that later on um, you could erase it but you have to change diameter in order not to go over past it so just clean it up a little bit I'm just going to undo that part that's fine with me now so next thing is we're going to change the materials on this one so we just need to go back and go to materials and concrete um, we could change this one probably going to use something here I like the look and I want it to be darker a bit so that's fine with me this one this concrete for the step I want to change it to this one a little bit lighter and then here we're going to change the material to silver and we're going to make this one black and then the reflection just good enough like that and then for the ground here go back to material ground man-made and then here we could choose more and scale it a bit we could choose that or this brick which is nicer as well so we could choose that or the one with grass in between just to change it a bit let's add in a car so vehicle car and let's add in a small car so it's sedan and a coupe so probably a coupe right here so we have a coupe right here on this side I think that's good enough and then one more at the other side let's do a sedan or an SUV on the other side and then let's change this color to a black and this one or maybe this one should be light gray or dark gray and then this one should be a dark red let's 
let me see different colors right here and then this one let's pull this one back a little bit and this one let's make it actually white instead I still want it to be visuals visual like that so I'm gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below